Good morning, this is Anka Metcalf with TradeOutLoud.com. This is the last day of August, August 31st, 2016, and it is little over 9 a.m. It's 9, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, welcome to the pre-market game plan for major future indexes, gold and oil. We're going to start today with gold. Gold had a surge all the way uh, into 1306 area. We had an area of support at 1310. This is the first breach on that daily support area. And uh, it will all depend on how uh, it will behave at this level because if we consolidate low at this level, uh, we might continue lower and the descent might take us into the 1275 area and all the way into the next support area, which is 1250. So it's a long way from here. Um, gold has been cap has captured my attention this morning uh, for a better day trade. Uh, so as long as 1318 is going to hold any any bounce into this area is shortable, even into uh, 1319, 1320 area. Uh, this is going to be a good sign to short. This was the first breach at 1312, and we had the surge right here at the open. So we did breach 1310. Uh, this is the first test of the break of the support area. So this is very serious. We're going to see uh, how price action is going to react in the next few minutes. But as long as it will consolidate weak, like I said, any bounce, uh, even a consolidation into 1312, a resistance that we will be developed, that would perhaps perhaps be de developed into this area can be shortable. So remember to look for more clarity onto a five minute chart um, and to get in with confirmation. So GC, my bias for GC for today uh, is, um, uh, is short, obviously. And uh, the next target is gonna be 1300. And like I said, look for an entry into the 13, uh, 1313, 1315, or if it bounces all the way to 1318, look for another turnaround into that area. Uh, oil, uh, the pit has opened 13 minutes ago, and it has found support at uh, $45.90. It made a new low of $45.87 uh, this morning right at the open and uh it just uh it's just performing a weak bounce we did have a uh, we did have a flurry down last night at six o'clock uh which sent it right into this prior low right here at 45.75 and we have a double support area right here on the hourly from which we're getting uh, a bounce uh, I, I'm, in, I'm not really expecting this bounce to be very significant at this time. Uh, and remember, be very cautious into trading CL, especially that oil numbers are going to come out at 1030. So we're very close to an hour from now. Uh, quick scalps are possible. Uh, use the one minute and the two minute charts. Uh, but any serious trend trades uh, shall be taken only after the first only after the uh, second or the third wave that uh, comes in after the announcement after uh, the oil numbers remember um, um, we, we're not going to expect and we're not going to trade any kind of news uh, moving to the major indices um, NQ um, has created a lower base for NQ. The story today is going to be the following. If we're going to get a bounce all the way to 4780, uh, we're going to be uh, we're going to be looking long. And as long as 37, uh, I'm sorry, 4780 is going to hold. And if we base below this area right here at 4770, we're thinking short. So it's it's pretty simple when we have a range like that. We have descending tops on the hourly chart, so we're more uh, inclined to short. However, we do have substantial support at 47.50 so, uh, from the daily chart. So we don't have much in terms of risk to reward. It all depends on if we break violently this 47.70 area, we might continue into 47.60 and 47.70. If we flurry down below 47.50 uh, fast enough, uh, any bounce into this area, if you're waiting for confirmation, can be shortable at this point. Other than that, uh, this would be a short area right here, 47.70 with a stop at 47.80. 
uh, for a short position. And remember, the targets are not much. They're going to be two R's. So you're going to be looking for 47.60 and 47.50. These are the targets. However, if things change and if we're going to get a bounce um, off the um, New York session open, um, we will look to buy 47.80 area and we will look to place a stop at 4770 area and we will look for the following targets 4790 and 4800 so pretty much kind of like the same as for the short it's going to be a 2 r trade um let's move on to ym ym is slightly weaker this morning and we can see it from the descending tops right here on the hourly chart even on uh in in the extended session um, you can see right here that uh, once we closed, we popped a little bit into 18,456, and then we declined. Uh, we advanced again, a pull, quick pull back into the 50 zone, and then pull, uh, and then um, we continued lower. So pretty much, we're we're trying to come in lower. Um, the story would be uh, with YM and um, the the breach area and the test area is going to be today 18450 as long as 18450 is going to hold today we're going to be looking to short any bounce into 18440 18450 will be shortable and this would be the stop 18450 a little bit uh, just give it a point or two above um, the support area current support area is 18420 and any breach of this area will be considered as a short continuation lower into 18400. The stop for this particular trade, um, like I said, we're going for points and not for ticks. Uh, you will have to use a stop into the 18450 area, and you're going to look for a first target into 18400 area, and then you're going to look into um, 18380. 18360 and 18350 this is going to create the follow through and obviously we're going to if we're going to get a flurry down 18340 is going to be the next target um going to bring real quick right here I'm going to show you um let me just uh, squeeze in because we're we're trying to move lower in uh, I can't seem to fit this in here okay here we go all right, so you, you can see it. Okay, here it is. Here it is. This is the curl. This is the curl. Remember, 1309 is the short area stop uh, above this 1312 area. So this is for uh, this is for gold. I've been uh, peeking with the corner of my eye to gold um, as it it's one of the favorites that I'm going to watch today. Let's move to the last one. Es. And CL is also curling down right now. Uh, CL, uh, $45.90 entry, $46, a little over $46 for the stop. Look for targets into $45.80 and all the way into $45.50 area. This is for a quick scalp ahead of or, uh, ahead of, uh, um, of oil numbers that are going to come in at 1030. Okay, and uh, ES has continued to be my least favorite. It remains very, very choppy, and I really don't like the candlestick action at this point. 2171.50 is support, resistance, uh, heavy resistance developed at 2176, a little above that area, and I think this is going to be, this is going to be the line in the sand for today over 21. 76 we're going to look bullish as we're still holding a very very strong daily range and at this point every single time when this these areas have been tested right here uh, these areas have been bought and sent uh, into the top of the range uh, and this is due to the strong uptrend that um, we're still in right now but remember the line in the sand continues to be 2176 any bounce above this area can send it all the way to 2180 2182 this is it for today. I don't see any catalyst that can move it higher. Uh, and any break of 2171.50 can send it to 2170, and it has room to continue to 2176. And you will use this resistance area at a, uh, as for a stop, and this would be uh, a good 2R trade. And again, don't look for more than 2Rs today. I don't think we're going to get the follow through that we need. We might. We don't know how the oil numbers are going to influence the market at this point. It shouldn't, but. 
Uh, this was all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you tomorrow morning.